Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the French VB10 C3 sitting at 4.0 battle rating these days. This plane has been lowered to 4.0 from 4.3 where it was sitting at before. Now that already means something of course. That says something about the performance of this plane. Now let's see if that change is warranted and if that solves the problems that this plane has. This plane has a maximum speed at sea level of 519 kilometers an hour. Go up to 4500 meters and you will go down to 475 kilometers an hour. And at 6500 meters the plane has 449 kilometers an hour maximum speed. Now that is all right but that is nothing spectacular. The BF 109 F4 for example a plane that faces this plane a lot these days uh, at sea level has 414 which is only 5 kilometers an hour slower than the PB10 and at altitude at 4500 meters it has 483 kilometers an hour and at 6500 meters it has 450 kilometers an hour which is actually faster than the VB10 at that level. Um, the top speed in the dive of the VB is pretty nice with 778 kilometers an hour as the red line and 870 as the rip speed. That is a lot faster than the 109 F4 but for example compared to the P63 C5 which we reviewed the other day it is a lot slower. Stall speed in the VB is 170 km an hour with a control stiffening in the dive really catching up to the plane at around 500 km an hour in the roll rate which becomes atrocious at 650 km an hour with the elevator still functioning to about 700 but after that also becoming more stiff which you have to be careful at the lower altitudes when you come out of a steep dive. The firepower in the plane is decent, you are still running with the Hispano 404 cannons, four of them with 150 rounds for each gun. I used Universal in these matches and I used a 600 meter convergence. Now the ammo load is alright, pretty good, I mean 150 rounds per gun is, is alright but it's nothing spectacular, so that's, that's decent. The acceleration in the plane in a dive is good, especially in a steep dive. The energy retention the plane has in the horizontal is excellent, but in the vertical this plane really is very, very bad. I mean you lose speed when you do maneuvers in this plane very, very quickly. And if you take the plane up into the vertical, you will bleed speed like a maniac. So you don't want to do that too often. I mean I've got it ingrained in my flight style so and you still have to do it in certain cases like here I couldn't go anywhere else let's say but um, yeah it is not something you want to do extensively fighting with this plane in the vertical the climb rate on the plane when it comes to that is bad you need extensive side climbing in the match and uh, to get to an altitude where you can engage enemy fighters safely from an equal perspective you have to be higher than them so to get higher than a P47 for example with which this plane is often compared um, I don't know why by the way because the P47 is a vastly superior plane uh, not only in performance but also with the air spawn it gets this is an inferior P47 they often call it a French P47 but the, the, the flight performance is much worse and it doesn't get an air spawn. It starts at the airfield for whatever reason and uh, really has trouble performing. But uh, yeah, the climb rate is, is not very good. The turn time is also not very good compared to planes it faces. And uh, the flaps are all right. They improve a little bit and the rip speed on the flaps is 560 kilometers an hour. So that's actually pretty good, you can use the flaps when it comes to that, but in maneuvering with flaps you lose even more energy and um, yeah that is not very beneficial because you become a very sluggish plane when you become slow in the VB. That is really not something you want to do, below 300 kilometers an hour this thing really becomes unhandleable and um, 
anybody will outperform you that way you will get shot down when you get slow in this plane let's say that the roll rate on the plane is also pretty bad although it can be decent between 350 and 500 kilometers an hour that's where it's best but it's still not very good maneuverability overall i would call bad and the plane also has overheating so when you are side climbing and you are trying to abuse web you will have problems with the overheating it doesn't cool down very quickly so it needs extensive cooling as well so that doesn't really help with the climbing all in all overheating is bad on the plane durability for this plane is not too good it is it feels very brittle and to me it seems like anytime this plane get hit, gets hit it falls apart it really seems like that i've lost two wings i've lost wings just because i got a 50 cal on it a, a lot of shenanigans happened to me in this plane when i got hit it seemed like it it seems like it has no structural integrity at all which is really a shame and what most of the time happens i mean the first match was quite nice with four kills before we got killed you cannot easily get out of the way in a head-on as you saw but what often happens is what you saw in the last two matches with the first uh, of those being a match where we got one kill in a match with my team actually doing well and uh, the teams being in about equal numbers of planes when i got down from altitude and the second match this one my team already got slaughtered and you have one or two allies left against multitudes of enemy planes and then you also can get a kill or two but you often get into trouble this was a match when the plane still had a 4.3 battle rating and i got into a full up tier with some bf 109k4s and uh, the ending was not very pleasing I, there was there's really nothing i could do the k4 was better in a dive and although this plane doesn't face the uh, k4 anymore uh, he could catch up with me easily it still faces a lot of other very good uh, 109s though and um, also Fokker Wolves 190 can be very good in a dive and they are more maneuverable than you are in uh, at the end of the dive at the higher speeds when this plane really suffers from uh, control stiffening so yeah if we're looking at the P47 w with uh, which this plane often is compared then I would say that this plane has no business being compared to the P47 the P47 is a way better plane in pretty much all departments than this plane and apart from that um, and it gets an air spawn I mean what the hell a, a better performing plane the P47 and this one does not get an air spawn I would like to see that explained I really don't understand that bit of hey guys so here we are after the match now after looking at this plane for a while and I flew 12 matches I got 10 kills I got 10 deaths as well I barely managed to scrape a one to one kill death ratio out of this plane and i really had to work hard for it this plane is well it, it is not very good <laughs> i don't know how else to put it this is a boom and zoomer or a boom and runner actually because you can't go too much up in a zoom because this plane loses a lot of energy in the vertical but a boom and runner which is extremely unforgiving it is one of the most unforgiving planes i've flown in war thunder actually very very difficult to fly and perform in this plane and uh, i don't know why this plane did not get an air spawn this plane is often compared to the p47 gaijin even made a video of it comparing it to the p47 it has worst performance and it doesn't get an air spawn like the p47 does i really cannot explain that there is no reason whatsoever why this plane should not get an air spawn and it actually has to get an air spawn still even with a battle rating of 4.0 this plane is not that fast that it can stay out of range of the enemy fighters it faces it is not that fast for maximum speeds on on all the altitudes it can it can be caught and um, in a dive it's good but uh, when you get out of the dive and you have to do something the plane loses a lot of speed easily and you don't get it back that quickly especially not when you lost your altitude so guys this is a mixed bag for me i would not fly this plane a lot at this moment the p63 c5 
for example, is a much better plane. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.